The brand new BenQ W2710i offers cinematic SDR and decent HDR image quality along with very good darkroom performance and smart Android TV for £1,700. So what's the catch? Hello and welcome to another video on AV Forums. I'm Phil Hinton, the site editor, and I'm a fully trained ISF and THX calibrator with 20 years of experience. In this video, we're taking a look at the BenQ W2710i. The BenQ is a single chip DLP projector aimed at the home cinema market for watching movies in a dark room. It uses a 0.47 inch 1080p DLP DMD chip with XPR technology, which applies a quadruple pixel shift flash, which then creates a 4K image to the eye. This creative approach to 4K means you get the extra resolution hit to the eye without an expensive native 4K DLP chip being used. This means that XPR DLP projectors can hit budget price points without impacting on image resolution. We have the traditional body design here with the BenQ, with the lens positioned over to the right hand side of the front plate when looking from the front. The lens used is a high position 10 element 8 group lens array and it provides sharp and detailed images which are a trait of DLP technology. Image uniformity in terms of sharpness is good from edge to edge provided you take the time to set the projector up correctly and you are not employing Keystone. Around the back of the W2710i, we have the built-in speakers which are behind a black grille and in the centre are the connections. The connections include a 12 volt trigger, RS-232 control port, a service port, a USB media reader port, 3.5mm and digital audio outputs, three HDMI 2.0 ports with ARC on HDMI 2 and a USB power port. The W2710i employs a six segment RGB RGB DLP color wheel and uses the traditional UHP bulb and is not an LED or laser light source to stay competitive at the price point. This means we get a calibrated 980 lumens in the SDR filmmaker mode along with factory calibrated white balance and colors. This BenQ cinematic color factory calibration is confirmed with a printed sheet in the box stating which calibration device was used and the results of that calibration so you know that the out of the box performance should be very accurate in filmmaker mode. The projector is capable of reproducing HDR10, HDR10 plus and HLG signals and it uses tone mapping under the HDR Pro marketing name in an attempt to create an image that looks slightly more dynamic than the SDR picture modes. Obviously, as we know, projectors really struggle to produce HDR images due to the lack of contrast and dynamic range available given it's a reflective display technology. A projector will never match a direct view device such as an OLED TV for dynamic range or contrast and as such HDR is almost impossible to reproduce on a projector. However, the BenQ does reproduce HDR content in a way that looks more dynamic than SDR and with decent blacks and some highlights to create that feeling of specular detail even though it isn't anything like a direct view TV image. The projector also ships with the QS02 Android TV dongle that's connected to the projector under the top plate which you unscrew to fit the dongle to an HDMI mini port and USB micro B power source. This gives you access to Netflix and other major apps including the Google Play Store. You can also wirelessly cast content to the projector, use Google Voice Assistant and the remote control also works with the projector. The remote control supplied with the W2710 is a slim white design that has all the major keys positioned at the top end of the unit and it sits neatly in the hand and is intuitive to use. It can also control the QS02 dongle when connected and paired. We go into picture quality measurements in detail with a new written review on AV forums so head over to read all the details of the out of the box and calibrated results there. As this BenQ W2710 is designed for critical movie viewing in dim surroundings, that's exactly how we tested the projector. With HDR and SDR content from TV, streaming and disc sources, the 2710 looks excellent with superb accuracy and the grayscale and colour performance is very good as well as excellent video processing and motion. 24 frames per second content looks fluid and natural with no induced judder and even 50 Hz broadcast content stands up well with no obvious issues with motion. Upscaling performance was also very good for this level of the market with excellent colour reproduction and smooth gradation performance and we also didn't notice any issues with posterization within very tricky scenes. Black levels are good 
but we also have to manage expectations here. We're talking about a single chip DLP machine that costs about 1700 pounds. So it's not in the same league as the big Sony and JVC cinema projectors, but then it doesn't pretend to be able to compete at that level. HDR performance is good for this level of the market, but again, it needs to be noted that HDR on a projector will never match a direct view TV. There is a lack of absolute contrast and dynamic range, but that doesn't stop the BenQ from trying to match HDR content to the capabilities of the projector and providing an image that is a step up in terms of brightness and colour compared to the SDR image it throws out. Gaming wise, the BenQ does have a good input lag of 17.9 milliseconds and also has a dedicated game mode, but ultimately the W2710i is a movie projector and that's where its strengths lie, although you can quite happily play games on it. Designed to be used in a dark room for critical movie viewing, the BenQ is a genuinely great DLP projector that produces accurate SDR images and has a decent stab at showing HDR content with an attempt to tone map to the capabilities of the projector. Blacks are good and a darker shade of grey from the traditional DLP home entertainment machines and with some decent shadow detail retrieval there's only the odd instance of black crush seen within very tricky mixed light scenes. Overall at this market position and price point the BenQ W2710i offers an excellent attempt at cinematic images for use in dark rooms for critical viewing. It doesn't reach the cinematic highs of the latest laser powered JVC or Sony units and really you shouldn't expect that from such a budget conscious machine but BenQ has done a great job with the W2710i and it's a best buy. If you have enjoyed this review then please do leave us a like and if you want to see more projector reviews from AV forums then please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.